Welcome back mates. Like announced, uh, this video entirely is about uh, metal climbing, leak bonuses, leaks, leak rewards, whatever. I received quite a lot of questions about and the problem about this topic is all of the, the little subtopics are quite intertwined or they are reciprocally depending each other. So it's quite hard to find some kind of good entrance and good explanation to start right in. And later on you will know or you will recognize what I meant. I will start off with some basics which should be known to everyone but nevertheless I will mention them because some other facts are relying on them. Then I will come to some facts itself, some results which are remaining or affecting each player who is aiming to climb the medal ranks and at least three methods how to gain or how to get higher in medals. So here we have the distributional graph. It's a non-scientific approach, so there are no validated data behind. This is just only to visualize what I'm talking about and to giving you a rough picture. Um, what you can see at the left side, you see the percentage or the amount of players. So 100% obviously are all players, 50% are half, 0% are zero players. And at the bottom side, you can see all leagues, all league or medal ranks, whatever, starting with copper. Every medal rank has about one, two, three parts or areas to get. And it's getting up to 3200 medals and even above for the dynasty, the highest league in game. So in the very center, you can see a distributional line, which pretty much should visualize which amount of players is distribu distributed about which amounts of league. Starting pretty soft or with about, I don't know, 20 up to 30% in very low uh, medal ranks. But because the initial game is getting that fast progressed, you are able to uprise in medal rank to the most common medal ranks, which are about 800 up to 1800 approximately, where most of the players are um, located. And then progressive and successively the higher you are coming the lower amounts or the more little amounts of players are located over there until you have reached approximately 3200 medals and above so the highest league ranks where you will find i think about three percent four percent of all players which is a very low amount also Another thing which is quite behind, pretty obvious, the higher you are in age, the stronger your defense as well as your offense are, and therefore it's easier for you to climb the medals. So the higher you are getting in medal rank, the stronger bases and players are getting, um, each from the level, either from their um, age. So the far, the more far you are getting, the higher the average age will be, and you won't find any rushers anymore. First, some basics. In long-term view, climbing the metal range or the, the leaks is some kind of accounting or relation. It is a relation between won or earned medals through successful attacks and successful defenses and lost medals uh, through unsuccessful attacks and unsuccessful defenses of your base. It is quite a very slow process and it is even slowing down the higher you are getting. So from 800 medals up to 2000 probably, it is pretty fast and it's also feeling comfortable because you know about the base layout, the average strength is pretty rushed, there are, there are many um, inactive bases without any blessings mostly, uh, the traps are triggered, but then from 2000 or from 1800 medals upwards you are feeling it's getting some kind of more nasty and that is visualized down here by the orange part if you are between 2200 and 2800 medals it's getting already very nasty due to the fact that bases are um, in average at global age stage not any more rushed at enlightenment age whatever no matter whether there's in the top right corner atomic age uh, in lower metal ranks you will find very very many rushed bases but if you are coming to this um, area down here um, of about 2200 medals and above the average strength will increase dramatically and then from 2800 to, to approximately the highest metal ranks you will find only about atomic bases my, most of them atomic maxed with very uh, severely high walls and therefore hard to knock out now let's come to some facts most of you will know them but nevertheless i will mention if you want to stay high or get high in metal ranks there is no way around spending two resources either you are spending time or you are spending some money you have to spend one of them to get high and to stay over there in case of money 
You are just investing real time money to get some crowns and therefore buy some time. In case of time, this means that you, for example, have to precisely know when your peace treaties are ending, then getting very precisely online before they are ending and conducting some attacks. Because every time you are getting online and there is no peace treaty, you have to make sure to stay as long online as it is possible to gain more medals than you are losing afterwards because if you are getting offline and that's another fact you will get attacked within 20 seconds almost sometimes within 10 seconds there's a huge reliability in getting attacked when you're offline so you have to stay online for a long time and this means spending nearly the complete time in front of your uh, mobile phone pc or other device because otherwise it is logging out and giving you free for the matchmaking system um, you have to get more medals or to earn them in the multiplayer before you are getting offline. Now when you are offline you are getting attacked and the amount or the difference in medals you gained before and you are losing afterwards is deciding how fast you are rising up, whether you are um, staying at your current stage or whether you are dropping down. Also there is another fact, getting online. Um, will be pretty much dependent on your peace treaty. So when you are coming online and you have a peace treaty, you shall not break it. Only you can, you should only break it if you have at least one hour or more time to do or to conduct some attacks. Because otherwise, the amount of medals you are able to uh, to gain are lower than you see one. You, you have the chance or the risk to lose afterwards again. So in total, the accounting would be negative, and you would not increase your medal rank. You would decrease. Now let's come to some results. First. If you are climbing metal ranks, the higher you are, the more you will have some shortness of trade goods, especially diamonds and national trade goods. Because the bases are getting stronger and you are unable to crash these bases uh, totally or if you have crashed, you have lost a severe amount of troops. So nevertheless, you will lose a lot amount of troops and therefore you will have to spend a lot of time, like mentioned before. And due to the fact that the total amount of your attacks is reducing, the amount of trade goods you can earn as well as national trade goods will decrease severely. And that's another point. If you have shortness on them, you are unable to get more mercenaries, be strong in the world war. And here you have another problematic or another problem, an issue, um, how to get these trade goods and national trade goods. Which refers to my uh, previous argument, you have to pay a lot of money. Also, the second result is, if you are high in metal ranks, there will be no more easy farming. So raiders and other troops are getting pretty much useless because you cannot use them at all. There is also no dropping anymore. Third aspect, the multiplayer is only possible when your peace treaty ends or when you have enough time available to counter the medals you will lose afterwards. It's like I mentioned, always about an accounting or about a relation. So if you are getting online, the first glance or your first view always will go down over here to see whether you have still the peace treaty. Fourth result, I have already mentioned, getting offline means getting attacked. There is no doubt in. Fifth result, there will be no more possibilities to, um, to revenge. So when you are now getting offline, it is pretty much like every player, no matter whether where is he's ranked over here, over here or over here, will get matchmaked to some other players who are consistently mostly at the same range of medals or even below. Otherwise, it would be pretty unsenseful. If you are always getting matchmaked above yourself with medals, it would be pretty easy to climb the medal ranks because you are, have always the tendency to gain more medals than you are losing. Because the matchmaking system, it's pretty obvious and pretty logical, is working that way that it is comparing your own medal count with the enemy medal count. If the enemy medal count is higher than yourself, then there is quite some kind of equation or relation which is showing um, the, the more difference there is in both medal counts, the more um, the equation is getting um, affected how many medals you can gain or how many you can lose. So if the enemy is pretty much below you, you will have a huge chance of losing a lot of medals and only winning some, which can be in very extreme cases be about plus one medal and minus 39, which is, I think, the most extreme case. 
Now the other extreme case, if you are the one lower in metal, attacking someone which is pretty much higher than you, then you will get some kind of relation, which means in the most extreme case you can gain 39 medals and only lose about one medal. This means most of our uh, matchmakings are getting matchmaked below ourselves, so in lower medal ranks. Now when you are getting offline, all of the big guys which are in the leagues above you will get matchmaked to you and they will see your base. Most of them will obviously be in higher ages and therefore crush your base. Now when you are getting online again, you got attacked by those guys which are also high in medal ranks and also getting attacked and therefore Immediately when they went offline, they also got attacked and therefore they will have a peace treaty. That's the reason why you will probably never in high medal ranks, so above 2000 medals, will be or will have the um, chance to revenge yourself. The only chance could be if someone from very, very much lower ranks got matchmake to you, which is also possible, but only with a very, very low chance. I have collected some data about uh, very much earlier, so I think one year ago. And there it was about only in one up to three percent of all cases you are getting matchmaked higher than yourself. In almost I think 30 up to 30 percent you are getting to your own stage of medal rank and in about all of the other percentage cases you will even get matchmaked below yourself where you can get only a very little amount of medals and this uh, distribution is even changing if you are getting higher. So the higher medals you are, obviously, if you are in the highest medal ranks, there won't be any more players or that many players above you. So the uh, chance to getting matchmaked lower than yourself is pretty much higher than if you are in lower ranks. Now let's see all methods you pretty much have to claim the medal ranks. First, it's pretty obvious, getting a full victory at the enemy, which includes at least five stars within 50%, 75%, 100% destruction, town center and quick victory. If you cannot obtain the quick victory, you will have four stars, but at least you have to care in this uh, approach to get all defense buildings. Um, because so, so your army will, uh, will, will survive and you can do the next attack. If always your complete army is getting killed, especially the planes will make you a big issue to getting retrained because you have to wait a lot of time, approximately about two hours, or you have to invest crowns to getting them retrained. Another approach would be to snipe town centers. Sniping town centers cost you a lot of army because you have to always retrain all of them because all used troops will die or you can only go for exposed town centers. But somewhere or somehow uh, when you're getting to 2800 medals approximately there won't be any exposed town centers anymore. The last and third method is about successful defenses. Successful defenses means you are getting attacked, the enemy attacker is not able to get at least one star at you. But like I already mentioned, the higher you are getting in metal ranks, the stronger your opponents are getting and therefore most of them will be at 2800 medals and higher, atomic age or even atomic age maxed. And also it's a tendency that a lot of these players, which are high in metal ranks, are even spending money because they are they um, because they are forced to. Like I already mentioned, you have to spend a lot of time or even a lot of money. So the amount of players who are spending money is getting higher, the higher you are getting in metal ranks. Therefore, they also will have some event armies with you. And if your base is that strong that it can even defend against a full atomic offense with mostly full blessings active and even some troop cards, this means automatically that you are also pretty high in metal ranks. And if we are coming now back to the basics, here is another rule. If you want to claim the medal ranks, obviously yet, you should be as high as possible. If you are too low in your own age compared to other ones, there is also another issue which is mm, pretty hard to explain. So first it is about, let me show you, here is your own age. There you are currently. In pretty much all cases, there will be an age above and even one age at least below you. If you have not completely newly started the game or if you are not completely or entirely maxed. In most cases there will even be two ages below and also two ages above. Now the matchmaking system is only working that you can get matchmaked one age below 
at your own age or even one age above you. This is working in 99.99% of all cases. There might be some strange extra situations, which I completely not understand at all. But like I mentioned, in very, very most cases, it is working like this. Here we have the uh, abbreviations for um, gunpowder, enlightenment, industrial, global and atomic age. Let's calculate some fictive situation. Let's say you are in enlightenment age. You are a crazy dude and you want to claim the metal rungs. Let's keep in mind, you can only getting match made one age above you at your same age or even one age below yourself. Not two ages or even three ages above. The higher you are getting in ages, like I mentioned, the higher enemy bases will be. You will have Average progress of about industrial between 2000 and 2400 metals approximately, 2400 up to uh, 2800, 2900, 3000 probably will be global age average defense stage and above you will have mostly atomic age maxed out bases. So first, this will be pretty pretty hard to get for yourself. If you are now climbing the metal range, getting higher and higher, like I already mentioned, most of the bases will be industrial, global or even in average atomic age max. But you can simply not getting match make to them, because you are too low in your own age. And this means the amount of bases which you are getting, which you are able to get match make is getting fewer, we have a lot of over here, and it's getting fewer and fewer and fewer if you are getting higher. Um, in the metal ranks and this means if you are very high in metal ranks so for example at 2600 medals there are no bases above you to get match made you nearly always getting match made below yourself in conclusion this means all bases which you can attack are lower than yourself in metal rank and therefore you are only able to get at least one two or even if you have very much luck three medals if you destroy the complete the entire base otherwise you will lose about 20 up to 39 medals so there's a very high risk of losing significantly more medals than you can gain so in total, climbing the metal range will only make sense if you are at least global age maxed or even atomic age. Better to say atomic age. Let's come back to the topic successful defenses. Um, also the enemy players which you are fighting against in high metal ranks are at high levels and also high ages. And if your base is low level or lower than them they are, there is nearly no chance at all getting not... Um, crushed even at least one star i think everyone should be able to get with atomic uh, offense against another base if the case is like mine and you are not high enough to repel most of the enemy attacks it is pretty senseless to have your town center protected most of you will probably ask yourselves or me now why town center protection is pretty good you can try to avoid that the enemy is getting at least the quick victory star or the star for your full base that's absolutely right and no problem about this but now we have to take the matchmaking again into consideration here we are again now let's keep in mind the higher you are in ages the higher is the chance to getting matchmaked backwards if you have if you are now intending to stay probably at 2400, 2600 medals, even 2800, I don't know, and you have already reached, there are two possibilities, completely and fully protect your town center or don't do so. Now, when you are getting offline again and in the matchmaking available for other players, most players which are getting matchmaked to you, obviously, like we mentioned before, will be from higher ages than you are. So they will are getting match made backwards to you. Their chance of getting medals is f absolutely low at your base. Uh, in the highest case, I got robbed by about 10 medals and the enemy got two stars at my base. In most cases, it's about one up to six medals. When you are getting to the multiplayer or getting match made, most players over here will search for easy opponents and easy medals to shoot. Now when they are seeing in exposed town centers, they are not caring at all for your resources. They are only caring for your town center, easy sniping it with some infantry guys, being happy about 4 up to 6 medals, getting back from your base again and did not do any more destruction in very very many cases. This means for yourself you have lost only a very tiny amount of medals, but nevertheless you have a peace treaty which is pretty valuable for you. Now let's assume the other case, if you have a fully protected town center. The enemies which are getting matchmaked to you mostly are from above of you and they will think 
oh wow, this base is probably not even bad, it's a good base and I can only win about 3 up to 10 medals probably 15 medals, probably 20, um, mostly, but very, very low medals. And like I mentioned, they will say, why should I attack a considerably good base when I have only a high chance of losing and nearly no chance of winning? Then they will skip you, and they will skip you, and skip you, and skip you, and then some, sometimes there will be someone which is unfortunately or happily for him getting matchmaked from above you. In worst case, he is also atomic age. On He's your age or even stronger than you. No mind, he's strong enough to crash your base and he can lose in opposite only a few medals and win a lot of medals. This guy will take every shot to get your complete base and if he's using troop cards, mostly he will get. So the total amount or the total calculation showed that if you have your town center exposed, if you have your town center exposed and the enemy can easily attack it, you will lose less medals than if you have your town center completely protected. Completely protecting the town center only makes sense if you are strong enough to really repel enemies. But if, like I mentioned, if you are high in medals, repelling atomic age offenses with considerably high troop guards with them, blessings active, is nearly not possible. And repelling is not like in World War 3 or 4 stars, it is not even a single star. Puh, so like I mentioned, the topic is pretty intertwined or reciprocally connected and therefore it's hard for me to get a good entrance and to explain anything because to explain something I have to refer to another thing which I want to explain to you which I have to refer to another thing so it's some kind of circle. Nevertheless, I hope I was able to get you the most important points about. Now let's get some kind of conclusion. Why should we stay high in medal ranks for example? Staying high in medal ranks, and I mean about 2000 up to 2400 medals, can be pretty, pretty sensible for you if you want to save some resources. Gold and fruit are pretty much not the research, which is sensible to uh, protect over here, but it is about oil. If you are getting lower in medal ranks, you are getting attacked frequently and pretty often. Enemy attackers are not aiming for any stars at all, they are only caring for your resources in oil in that case. And if they are getting it, they are retreating from your attack and you don't have at all any peace treaty. Then you are getting attacked again and again and again and you're losing a lot of oil. But if you are increasing your medal count to, your medal count to about 2000 up to 2600 medals, then enemy attackers are not targeting your oil, they are targeting your town center. Then it's pretty smart to get your town center outside, getting attacked, getting a peace treaty, having not lost any uh, resources at all, gaining oil, oil, oil in the multiplayer, producing your oil, own oil by some uh, blessings active and so being able to do even rough or hard upgrades for yourself. Yes, um, I would really appreciate receiving some feedback whether in first case I was able to explain the whole um, situation good enough to you so that you could understand it and in the second case uh, what do you think about this topic? Have you even considered getting high in medals to protect your resources or are you just uh, comfortably staying down and not mentioning or thinking about why it could be quite uh, good to change your medal count? We see us soon. Your domination tips.